But in terms of recovering the body, we wanted to do that. Now, under surveillance by the FBI, he and Vandersloot went to where the body supposedly was buried. Nobody has been found. Vandersloot told investigators in Aruba that he left the 18-year-old Holloway on a beach drunk. For years, he has denied involvement in her disappearance. Vandersloot was the last person seen with Holloway before she vanished during a high school graduation trip to the Dutch Caribbean island. He was arrested, but has been released twice because of lack of evidence. So now they've got him, and now he's talking, and now we'll see what happens. Story just in from uh, Jerry Corsi, White House Chief of Staff, Ram Emanuel, has learned that they lent, he lived rent-free Washington, D.C. for years, thanks in part to a friend under contract, are you ready, with oil giant BP. Now, while the White House approaches day 50-plus of the environmental disaster caused by an explosion on BP's Deepwater Horizon oil rig, unable yet to stop the flowing crude in the Gulf, several media sources have questioned the administration's efforts to regulate BP prior, I said prior, to the incident. WorldNet Daily's research further raises the question of whether the White House was compromised by Emanuel's financial ties to that company, BP. Emanuel lived for five years rent-free in an apartment owned by Representative Rosa DeLario, Democrat Connecticut, and her husband, Stanley Greenberg, whose consulting firm was the prime architect in BP's efforts to recast itself as a green corporation and recipient of hundreds of thousands of dollars awarded through a committee chaired by Emanuel. The Greenberg Quinlan Rosner Consulting Firm website details a case study for client BP, which the firm helped BP's plan and evaluated successful rebranding campaign, focusing the company's branding on energy solutions, including the development of solar and other renewable energy sources. Greenberg Quinlan Rosner's research also contributed $200 million to the advertising campaign in which British Petroleum attempted to shorten its name to BP and re-sign its corporate insignia to emphasize a beyond petroleum theme. Now, critics have character, uh, characterized the BP advertising campaign prompted by Greenberg Quinlan Rosner Research as greenwashing, a process in which corporations portray their efforts as fitting into a politically correct green environment sensitive to the alternative energy. Greenberg Quinlan Rosner is also tied heavily to the Democratic Party as it created a sister political consulting company named GCS, an acronym based on the last names of the principals. Are you ready for this? Stanley Greenberg, James Carville. James Carville, the long-term advisor of Bill Clinton, and Bob Shrum, the campaign manager for Senator John Kerry. Senator John Kerry, uh, by the way, unsuccessful 2004 presidential campaign. Isn't it amazing how John Kerry's name keeps popping up on this show? Well, within weeks of Obama's inauguration, newspaper reports discovered Emmanuel living rent-free in DeLaro's and Greenberg's home and began asking questions. One issue is rather Emmanuel, who served in the House with DeLaro until early January 2009, should have listed the room either as a gift or an income on his Congressional Financial Disclosure Forms. Uh, you know, a murkier question is rather Emmanuel has a tax liability for the relationship. Tax liability. The matter may have particular sensitivity in the early days of the Obama administration in which at least four picks for high post have had confirmations delayed or derailed by tax irregularities. Ooh, the most transparent administration in the history of the United States just keep varying things, don't they? Hey, we'll be right back with James Forford in just a moment. 